Hello everyone, and welcome to Toho 8. I'm going to start with this Hello. game first, with Randy, of course. Um, good game right here. It's, uh, it's easy, so that's maybe why it's so popular. And it gives you a ton of lives right there, as you can see. Oh um, my god. Yeah, this game uh, had a lot. It's got its story right there, extra spell practice. That's new, I want to say. The music is great, loud piano. We'll do normal again. So there's teams this time around. You have the Illusionary Barrier team, which is Reimu and Yukari. You got the Aria of Forbidden Magic team. You got Marissa and Alice. And Shanghai, of course, the doll. Uh, what else? Visionary Scarlet Devil team, you got Sakuya and Vermilia. And Twilight Dweller team, Yombu and Yuiko. They all have their own stats, of course, as usual. Oh, yeah. So, you can play as solos once you beat the game. Um, there's a few conditions to do it, but yeah. Anyways, gonna go with this team since they're the best team. Uh, I like them. Uh, Malice Cannon is good, too. Uh, they're decent. Well, not so much Sakia. Uh, Ghost Team, mm, Yuko, I mean, Yomu's a little interesting with her Phantom. And then Yuko does a little damage since she has a spread shot. Huh? Let's just jump into it. Uh, my background might be messed up. I think it's the copy I have. <laughs> I don't think that patch is supposed to be like that light. Yep, so as you can see, you play as uh, the human as unfocused, and then when you focus in, you play as the uh, yokai. Really cool. And then uh, this game, you can, uh, once you focus at the top of the screen, you let you collect all the items. Unlike the previous entries, which is very nice, because it, it really sucks losing all those items. I like to try to grab it all, so this game is, does well with that. E Okay, and here comes Riggle. You want to watch out for this Riggle because she will kick you. Uh, that's why it's called Riggle Kick. Yeah, if uh -huh. you, because everyone stays up there and she will just fly in and just kick you and you die. And it's like, oh, nice. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, as you can see, uh, most of the fairies are, you'll see later on, there's a lot of familiars in this game, like those things. Uh, the mechanic of this game is uh, not so basic to explain. Alright, so I'll do their dialogue, you'll do the boss. Look, there's nothing out here. The night's still only just begun, no need to hurry. You've got no room to say no need to hurry when you're the one who dragged me out here in a hurry. You owe me big for this, so don't you forget it. You've been saying nothing here for a while now. I'm here, aren't I? There's Riggle. Don't worry about it. I'll pay you back. It's not like I'm you. Ooh. What? Hey, hey, hey. I'm scared to push it, because I... There you go. You got some guts not being bugged by me. I hope you got the determination to match that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Was that a pun? Was it? <laughs> that reminds me, I forgot something important for an evening stroll back at the shrine. I know what you're trying to say, a mosquito. What? Mosquito? Coil, right? I don't know what that is. I'm a firefly. Oh, <laughs> uh, I just love the, the, the character's dialogue. Like, the boss is all serious and they're, they're just having their own conversation. And then Riggle's like, hey, I'm over here. Right. Yep. So as you can see, if you play the the human, you can shoot down the familiars. It's those little yellow things. Those things, see, so you can shoot it down. But if you're the yokai, they disappear, see, and it, yeah. As I was saying, so as you can see on the bottom left, there's the human and yokai meter gauge. Uh, that's part of the oh. mechanic. There's a time mechanic. If you look at the HUD or the UI, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah. It says time up there, so that's part of the uh, mechanic to this game, or yeah, gimmicks. Not sure everything about it, I'm sure you can look on the wiki, but it, it, you gotta learn it, it's quite a bit. 
Um, anyways, so if you play as the human, obviously the human goes to your side. If you play as the yokai, the meter fills up. And you can see these little purple items over there where Riggle is. It's That's the time thing. Um, so the longer you play as a particular one, uh, you get more time. So as you can see, I'm trying to fill up to get 2500 right now. And you'll see what that'll do in a moment. So when you, uh, yeah. So in order to, okay. I didn't get it? Okay, I got it. There you go. So see, once I hit the requirement, now I can do her... I don't want to say it's her last spell, or... I forget. It's like last spell. There's two different ones. There's more. There's a lot to this game, actually. It's uh, surprising how much is in put. Uh, oh. So yeah, you get, you get to do this extra spell card, and it helps with getting a lot of scores. So for score runners out there, really, it's awful at night with all these bugs around. Says the one who... Only, only awake at the night. Yes, because nature <laughs> thrives during the night. There have been lots of fireflies lately. Kind of makes me w worry a little bit about the outside world. You understand, don't you? It's not like you to worry, though. Yeah, I, I love the back and forth with all the characters dialogue. It's funny. One sec. I forgot to drink some water before I record. Okay. Stage two. The path where humans vanish. Yeah, so Raymer's nice because she has homie. <laughs> As you can see, it does all the work. And we're at full power, so now I don't need to go to yokai mode in order to grab everything if I so desire. Yeah, soundtrack is great for this game. But isn't that all to whole game? Okay. Oh, I forgot to show off. Um, When you play as Yukari, uh, hold on one, my bad. It's kind of hard to show her off, maybe when we start fighting. But you may have noticed that, I just didn't point it out, is uh, Ron, that's her Shikigami, and she attacks with Ron, or Ron attacks for Yukari. And oh, so wow. basically, the border team has uh, two homing shots, which is really strong. They have a small hitbox with a long uh, border of life, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, basically, yeah. you can have a bigger wing window to death bomb. Uh, yeah, so they just have a lot of great qualities compared to the other teams. So, as you can see, all the enemies, or whatever you want to call them, are dropping points, which is... See, that's time right there. That's uh, the little circle blue thingies, but then the squares are points. That's how you get extra lives in this game, that return from Toho 7. And here comes Mystia. There she is. Okay. So yeah, you kind of... Okay, so back to the gimmick. Um, you want to... What's the word? Unfocused shot against all everything, basically, to get the human gauge up. And that gives you time. That's why that purple is coming up, uh, out of the boss or whatever. But in order for, to fill up the yokai, if you wanted to do that side, is you have to graze bullets, basically. So that's good against bosses, but if you're playing on uh, low difficulties... Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Wait, wait! What? Randy. That's that you were some loosely tasty beyonds along the list. Who exactly would you two be? Mistia Lorelei. She has two first names. Yes. Um, non humans. Non humans? Well, human or not, I'm fine either way. Oh yeah, that's weird, seeing then humans go along this road. Hmm, you see to be a Night Sparrow. You shouldn't attack just humans so, so often. There won't be any more left around here. That might be so. How about attacking yokai instead of humans? Oh, never mind. Besides, human forms that haven't had been seen on Night Roads for a long time. If there's anyone here at all, it'd be non-humans who were in a big hurry or had some important reasons to be here. Listen, I'll say this once more. We are non-humans in a hurry with an important reason. Why don't... We don't have time to waste here. Will you let us pass? The end of this road is in a place where yokai like Yukari often visit, though. 
Oh, even though you're blaming stuff for so long. I know, how about we go to the village and mess with the humans together? Ah, oh, jeez, I said it this before, haven't I? I can't see in the dark! Oh, yeah. Ah, human sighted. I'll make you night blind. What? And she'll literally mean that. Watch. Watch the fight, uh, chat. So yeah, you can take out the familiars. It helps out a bit. Oh. Although it does uh, lower your uh, meter in the gauge down there to the bottom left, but honestly, it doesn't affect you too much. Depending on this difficulty. So this one you just want to strafe. You can take out the familiars so there's less bullets. Yeah, I have a harder time getting uh, Mystia's uh, extra spell card. Wriggles I usually get like every time. But Mystia, you can miss it sometimes if you're not too careful. Not much else. Homing's nice. Alright, so here comes the gimmick I want to say. Yep, here we are. And as you can see, it gets darker. So Mystia was not lying. Oh boy. Yep, she is the Night Sparrow and she makes everything dark. But wait, there's more. gets darker you can follow these to get rid of them there's a familiar right there um not too bad on normal on lunatic eh, not too bad once you get it um yeah there you go and we got the ex uh. hopefully what i s okay i got it even though i i'm under the timer i don't understand that uh well, I found something new, chat. That's kind of interesting. So yeah, it gets even darker. That's basically her thing. You just want to get out of the way of the blue ones, but she's about gone. You probably had four things right there. Goodness, it was only a night sparrow. It's hopelessly too early for her to be acting like a king of bird lice. <laughs> was that really <laughs> a sparrow just now? It was dark, I couldn't see well. If you see a small bird at night, it's usually a night sparrow. If you don't treat them with caution, you'll become unable to see in dark places. Is that really what sparrows are like? Although I couldn't see it well. Ah, I see the- I can see the human village. I didn't really want to come here with you though. Dang. <laughs> Rainbow just got dragged into this incident. As per usual. Planasia. No, actually Planasia is a kindness theme. This is whatever old world uh, said. <laughs> Yeah, but what's kind of cool, um, if, I don't know how it works exactly, but if you, you can despawn some bullets by killing the enemies, I don't know why, but you see that happen. It's, uh, it involves the mechanic, though, that's for sure, because you don't, really can't do that in other games. I don't like these uh. ones right here in the corner. They do a little snowball and they're familiars. You have to kind of use your yokai mode to take them out, because the human can't really do it because they are just spamming so many familiars. And here comes Kaina, there she is. Yep. This looks really slow to me compared to playing Lunatic <laughs> not too long ago. <laughs> I'm sure it looks slow to all you anyways. Alright, go. Is it you or the ones that are trying to attack the village in the middle of the night? This horrible scene is your doing, isn't it? Where did you send the humans in their village? I want to hand the humans over to you, Yokai. I'll make this night and never have happened. So basically, uh, kind of is talking about the plot of the game. Uh, well, kind of. I guess she mentioned night. That's why it's called Imperishable Night. Uh, basically, what's happening in the story is, uh... Basically, the night is never ending. It is constantly... Oh, go ahead. 
Yeah, what the heck are you? Hey, put the village back. And she runs away. As I was saying, uh, the plot is... I'm trying to think. Basically, yeah, it's never ending night. And Yukari's like, uh, this ain't good. And then she went and got... Went and got Reimu. And, uh... I want to say Alice got Marissa, and then Yuko and Yomu obviously they're together, so they went and Romilly and Saki, same story. So they all went to go visit, figure out what's going on with the knight, so that's the point of the whole incident. So persistent. You don't matter right now, the human village was supposed to be here, right? But there's nothing here now. What happened to the humans and their houses and everything? Nothing. It just made it so that the village was invisible to your kind. Yeah, it's, uh, that's uh, Kaina's ability. She can basically erase the history of something to make it like non-existent, although it's there. It's kind of odd. Reimu, we don't have time to stick around here. The moon's gradually sinking lower as we speak. We're not exactly sticking, but hold on. It's not like I can just ignore a yokai that erased a whole, human, a whole village of humans. Humans never set, uh, settled here in the first place. All he did was make it look that way. I'll protect the humans from this ill omen night. Hey, hey. Yeah, it's interesting. Okay, I probably didn't explain it the best way, but yeah, she basically made it seem like it wasn't there, but it is. It's kind of interesting. Hey, hey. I can see the humans just like usual, though. Trickery of this level isn't useful at all, is it? Yeah, Yukari's a sage, so obviously she could uh, see through all this uh, low yokai stuff. Although, kind of, oh, wow. yeah. Don't take that out of context. How about that? Really? What are you two? Don't worry, they're invisible enough to me. <laughs> yeah, and Raymond, well, maybe not so much. Ugh, your pity isn't helping. And you. You're a half beast, right? I'm human when the moon isn't full. Not unlike a human faced dog or a face. The human faced rock then. What the fuck? Why are you assuming everything but my face changes? I'll have you know that the transformation is full body. Or it's like Gozu and Mezu, where only the heads turned into a beast. Oh well. If you're going to say that, I won't let you take it back. Tonight, I'll make an Imperial Feast out of your history. There's Plain Asia. Myself aside, this one's history would amount to some light snacks at best. Shut up. Even then, that means every day is tea and snacks for me. Yeah, so she's a... Uh, I forgot what they said. I think it showed what type of yokai she is. But she is... Yeah, she... When the moon is full, she transforms. Which, don't worry, chat. I'll show you. Uh, game shows up, uh, shows it a little bit later. Uh huh. So, yeah, she's just throwing the walls. This one on Lunatic, not too sure how you do. She almost ran into me a little bit there. I think I hate this one on Lunatic. No, actually, I think Lunatic made this one easier, maybe. Forget. Oh, I see. So, you just have to dodge and then she throws the orb at you. But, as you can see, not too bad. And same cooldown as her first, I want to say. Yep, just find, just find where the gaps are. Three sacred treasures orb. Yeah, fun fact, I don't think the game talks about it, but Kaina is a teacher in the human village. Pretty, pretty cool. Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, really? obviously it's called the Human Village, so not many, uh, yokai are allowed in there, but kinda, kinda gets away with it, I guess because she's half human, half beast, obviously, but yeah, it's uh, pretty neat. I believe the, well, there's some lore books, and, uh, probably the manga she shows up in, I'm not too sure about that. And hopefully we got her extra spell card, there it is. Future Gods Realm. Bunch of lasers. So, yeah, you just need to figure out where to go. I don't know if it's RNG where these things go. I think they're just pointing, but on normal, not too bad, but let me take this. Now restore the human village. 
It'll be okay to put it back. We weren't thinking anything of you and the humans here to begin with. Then where are you going? Or that way. Where are you? This way. Oh. <laughs> if you after the ones behind the recent unusual moon, they're that way. See, I was right, wasn't I, Raymu? Your finger is off from hers by 70 degrees. <laughs> You're off by 110. Wait, she figured out what we were trying to do? It'd be more strange if she hadn't figured it out. <laughs> yeah, I love the dialogue. I I feel obligated to play Raymond and Alice's art just to show you guys one thing. And here we are, stage four. This stage changes depending which team you play. Obviously, you saw that in uh, Tall Seven. It changed. And Patchy as well, a little bit in six, but just her spell text, not who you fight exactly. So you can see there's a bunch of familiars, but they all despawn once you kill the fairy. And Reimu, one of her abilities is she won't get hit by the familiars, so she's immune to those, which is kind of nice. So if you're running up there, you won't get smacked. It's the same. Yeah. This feels so good playing on normal compared to Lunatic. This the, the screen gets just filled with so many bullets. I mentioned Lunatic <laughs> so many times to you guys, but I feel like I have to make some episodes on that. Uh, I can't really cover it in this one because just to show you everything takes quite a bit of time. I don't know, I say that, but then EOSD, I believe. Oh no, I showed hard mode off. Okay. Yeah, uh, I, I use a lot of bombs in... Uh, lunatic that's for sure and there you go there is the moon everyone's been talking about move and I'll shoot I messed up I mean shoot and I'll move right away I I, I didn't <laughs> want to mess up that line that's one of the best lines in the series what why are you in a place like this Marissa well I'm just hunting some troublemakers you okay like usual Hey, what a coincidence. I'm doing some troublesome yokai hunting too. What I'm saying is hunting troublesome yokai. In your case, it's troublesome yokai hunting, isn't it? Not really. My, I wonder what you can do all by yourself on a night like this. That's troublesome yokai. I'm really tired of staring at today's moon. It's about time to make it. Tomorrow. <laughs> so, who's the troublesome yokai? You. You messed with the boundary of night and day again, right? We're the ones who are trying to stop the night, but now isn't the, that time for that. Indeed, don't you have eyes on the back of your head? Huh? Well, she probably doesn't. That's how it is. Speak Japanese. This is Jin Sokyo. Jin Sokyo. Again, so cute. Looks like nothing we can say will get to, through to her. Oh, I love love Color Master Spark. Good, good song. But that distorted moon is so dangerous. It's not really harmful to humans. Uh -huh. I don't know what's happening, but a never-ending night has harmful ran all over it. You okay eat humans during the night. If the night keeps going, the yokai will stuff themselves until they drop dead. There's no way they do that. You gotta exterminate them before they drop dead. I hope you guys like stars, cause... Yeah, you're gonna see a lot of that. And an uh, occasional laser here and there. Uh, this is stage 4, this is where the game picks up, so I'm gonna try and pay attention a bit more. Or focus, I should yeah. say. Cause the game does ramp up. Here comes Milky Way. This one, not a big fan of. Not too sure. You gotta dodge diagonally and vertically and and the stuff. Oh boy. But what's nice about this team is I have double homing, so I have Ron attacking for me. And yep, Yukari, I can just dodge. Kind of cheap, I guess, but hey. Just a casual playthrough, showing the game off, story mode, and trying to show off the EX spell cards. I think I'm gonna trap myself. No, a little lucky there. Oh boy. Come on, Ron. There we go. Stardust Riviere. Riviere? I don't know how you do that. 
Oh, I like this one because you could just stay down here and you graze the bottom and get a lot of graze. Looks cool oh, wow. too. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh my god. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Knock on wood. You know, you know, streamer curse. All right, let's do this. Oh God, I I, r I ran up there. Ah, running away. Now let's chase her to the ends of the earth. Oh God. I don't think the background's supposed to look like that, chat. But uh, yeah, Whoa. don't worry about that. I'm. If you're gonna play, make sure you don't get the whatever this version is. I'm just so used to it. At this point, uh, I it don't phase me. I just listen to so, like, Disco Green again. Yes, Sally. I just um, I just enjoy the song. The song's great. Yeah. yeah, as you can see, this game is very generous. Drop a lot of bombs. Oh, there was Marissa. Probably gonna use my first bomb here, chat. I don't like this swarm. There's just random bullets and they start tracking you like that. Oof. Oh, here comes the best line. I gotta do this. Oh, if it is, if it isn't Reimu, what's up? There's a limit, even to a barefaced lies. That last one was for Yukari. This one's for you. That's one of the best lines ever in the series. I love it. Marissa always has some wacky dialogue. What is this non-directional laser? So, if you don't know about Marissa, she's uh, not a thief, quote unquote, but uh, kind of, I guess. She just likes to borrow things until she dies. Ah, uh, okay, so uh, yeah, that's what she says. There's something in my mouth. I don't know what that is. Um, what is it? So uh, she stole that attack from Patchy. If you remember from Six, uh, Patchy had uh, non-directional lasers as well, and Marissa borrowed it. And here's her uh, signature move. Love sign oh, Ma Master Spark. It's a huge laser. And trust me, it gets uh, worse on the harder difficulties. As if it isn't bad right here. I mean, not too bad if you have homing, I guess. Um, you just need to misdirect it, obviously. So, um, if you death bomb, it takes two bombs. So that's why, if you think I lost a few more bombs, I did. But that's the trade-off for death bombing in this game. This game has a very wow. huge window for death bombing, so... It's very generous. This game is just easier overall. That's weird. Her laser's still going off. Earth light ray. Okay, so this is the last one. I'm kind of shocked. All right. Yikes! Wow, this is different from Lunatic for me. I'm okay. I I was playing like a Lunatic route, and that was not what I was supposed to do. I don't really know what I was supposed to do here on normal. It looks a little. A little different. I guess you just misdirect and get over. On Lunatic, it's easier because you just strafe left and right. And we got her extra one. Here it comes. It is Final Spark. It's a better version of Master Spark. And it tracks you. As okay. you can see, I misdirected it up there because it starts moving. So you got to dodge uh. the stars. Make sure. Yep. <laughs> oh, God. Oh my god, oh. it goes like half the screen as you can see. It's uh, Jesus. I love Final Spark, it is so cool. I just love Master Spark, it's a huge like laser. Especially when you're playing it, uh, playing as her, it's like the huge uh, eh, oh. okay, I dissolved it so I don't lose a life, but I don't get the bonus score. I sh oh no, I, I couldn't bomb there. Looks like we arrived at our destination while we were chasing Marissa. You really are lucky. I wish you could share that luck with my Ron, too. Damn it. What the heck are you two saying? Thanks to you, we know who the culprit is. You weren't useless. Well, we haven't figured out the culprit, but at any rate, they're in that mansion. Well, I lost, so there ain't much I can do. Time to head home and sleep. I hope it'll be morning when I wake up. Sleeper all eternity. Well, try not to catch a cold. <laughs> oh, they're so savage in the dialogue, I love it. Yep. There's Ron, guys, by the way. She's the fox, and she likes to spin! Spin! As you can see, I have to get a time of 9999. And yes, I do have to get 999. 
the hour yeah. of the the ox. I believe that's uh, isn't that the Chinese calendar? I don't know. I don't know how that works. Chinese New Year thingy. I don't know. As you can see, the uh, fairies, or yeah, I guess they're fairies. They actually have bunny ears here. Um, you'll see in a minute. But basically, yeah, we're in A and T right now, and there's a lot of rabbits around here. Thank God all of these spawn. Da da. I hope you like trumpets, cause you're gonna get a whole uh, soundtrack of that right now. Yeah, everyone associates Tay with this song. Uh, don't blame them. Tay's theme is okay. I don't know which one I prefer for her, I guess. But I need to listen to Tay's theme a bit more. But a uh, good reason we're gonna go into Tell All Nine, aren't we? Well, if I can yeah. get around. There's Tay. Uh, she has a scary uh, look in this game. Her eyes look like she's dead here or something, but uh, she has a portrait and she looks a lot better than she does there in this game. She has two attacks. It's just crisscrossing bullets. I just have to get right in the line. Normal doesn't look too bad. On Lunatic, it speeds it up, of course. There you go. And she drops a 1-up, which I didn't need, so if you have max lives, it becomes a bomb instead. So, as you can see, if you stand still, they all aim at you, um, which, that's what you gotta do in Lunatic, I believe, but here you can just get away by kind of just running around, but you could trap yourself. Uh-oh. Yep. There we go. So as you can see, all the bullets are despawning, which is nice. Helps out a lot. Dun, 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 dun. I like that part of the song. It's just the build-up. Like, it, it sounds so good right here. Since we're gonna get into the next fight, you're too late. I've sealed all the doors. Can't take the princess away now, can you? Is she the culprit? Who knows? Should we take her down first of all? The culprit should be here somewhere. What? Are you Yoko? There's race and everyone, or Urange, whatever you want to call her. You shouldn't have been able to find your way here, though. Nothing is it to worry about. Hey, I'm still human. Humans are even less worrisome. <laughs> Why would you be worried, I wonder? All this is your mischief. Mischief? Mm, you mean you sealing up the earth? Okay. Maybe? I don't quite get it, though. We mean the full moon. I don't quite get it either, though. Yeah, that's me, chat. I don't know the storyline entirely. I just go with it. <laughs> Hi, you're talking about the moon. That's my master. Edding. Aaron's move. Yeah. Edding? Edding. Yeah. Most powerful bit. It makes us earth into a giant sealed chamber. Do you get it? There's no way we get it. Also, about the full moon erasing spell, it's hardly my most powerful one. Yep, there's Irene, everybody. Reimu, she's the culprit. I can smell it. Is she? My intuition is, sort of. Now, return this distorted moon to normal. It's still too early for that. There's no way I can undo the spell yet. Udonga. I'm done. Yeah. Conflict and insanity are all you're done, right? Correct? I'll leave this to you. Leave it to me. I want to let a single one of these closed doors be open. Runny won't stop us. We'll get her anyway after taking you down. Looks like it. It also lo looks like t taking you down won't bring back the full moon either. But... Hmm. I haven't had anyone to fight with lately, so this is just about perfect. I'll show you two everything of the moon's insanity. Uh, I want to get rid of this theme because when we start fighting, that theme blocks the, the way and you can't see it. The moon's insanity. It's my hypnosis that drove the humans who came to the moon insane. Those humans are weak, my oh god. This person, she seems dangerous. The moon drives people insane, oh god. So. I wonder if you can remain in your right mind while gazing into the eyes of the lunar rabbit. 
Yeah, uh, I love Racing's theme, by the way. It's really good, especially when the guitar kicks in. Oh, so good. Which is about to happen right now. Um, yeah, so what's cool about Racing, she's a moon rabbit, obviously. Uh, she shoots a uh, finger gun. See, she has the finger gun. So, yeah. And wow. she has red eyes, so that's why her lunatic, that's why uh, lunacy is her specialty. Yeah. Anyways, here's a guitar part. Really good. I love that part. So good. And then it only gets better. See so yeah. Oh, I I was I thought I was just gonna finish her right there. I cleared it, chat. But oh well. Oh well. There's the bass drop of the song. Really good. <gasps> I don't know what happened there either. Uh, bro, it kind of curved. So yeah, she shoots a lot of fast bullets, but they tend to slow down at the bottom. So it's best to hang down at the bottom. But yeah, as you can see, uh, stage five bosses always have a gimmick. So her gimmick is uh, the splitting bullets. Well, illusionary okay. bullets, I guess. She attacks with illusions. Um, so it's kind of weird to think illusions hurt you, but they do, these ones at least. So for this attack, you just gotta find the right lane. Not too bad on uh, normal. I say that. But I remember having trouble um, with all this when I first started. But that's just how it goes, chat. The more you play, the better you should get. Should, I should say. <laughs> but yeah. What's nice is I have homing, so I can just kind of go this way. There you go. Dun, dun. Uh. Yep. It's a little scary. Hopefully I get enough time. Oh yeah, I'm way over the 9999. Alright, and here's the last spell card. So yeah, if you ask me who's easier, uh, Racing's the easiest stage 5 boss compared to Sakuya and Yoma in the original uh, Windows first trilogy. I say that and I back up a little bullet. Um, it's easy because see, they you can predict what's going on. Yoma's definitely the worst and then Sakuya is in the middle on difficulty. And here's Raisin's uh, final spell. It is uh, quite challenging, actually. Uh, you gotta dodge this. So you gotta find the right lane, but it's kind of hard to see. So you just gotta find the right lane. It doesn't last too long because of how hard it is. And there you go, I capped it. All right. So if you beat the game, okay, if you're doing it for the first time, you have to go to follow your eyes route, which is final A. But since I beat the yeah. game, um, I can go to the final B route, trust your intuition. So I guess I should show off this one first, and then I guess we could do a second run. Okay, now let's just go chase that other one down. But which door did that other one enter? There are so many, I can't tell. That other one? Hey, don't just call me, or call my master or something like that. The culprit is down this way. We have got to capture her before she commits suicide. Oh god. She wouldn't commit suicide and don't call her a... Shush, you rabbit. Keep it up and we'll tear off your skin. Jesus. Wow, Reimu. You really are a oh, savage. Oh. Jesus. This, this theme's pretty too. So yeah, Voyage of 1969 is the theme. Um, so yeah, it looks a bit messy, but if you hang down low, it shouldn't be too much. So there's no bonus time here, so... You just gotta beat the game. So as you can see, we're going down the left path. Um, oh yes, I forgot. So the point of me doing the extra, um, it's more for Kaguya uh, route, but we're doing Erin's route. So, yeah. what did I say? So I'm trying to get my last one up. Your last one up is at 1100. Unless you somehow get 9999, but highly unlikely. Which I don't really need a one up. I think it's gonna transfer into a bomb anyway. So you kind of, uh, final eight is easier, I guess. Yeah, well, at least the stage portion. Then compared to, there's my last one up, and there's Eddie. <laughs> Good. So you're following me. 
This corridor is strange. It can't possibly be this long. The outside's turned into some world I've never seen. Editing is still uh, hard, though, I would say. Oh, see, you're supposed to... You're supposed to create an opening, but I might finish it. Oh, that was lucky. All right, I I don't like uh, these spell cards. Earth in a pot is easier than Earth a Galaxy or whatever. Um, this one I don't really know what you're supposed to do. I just know I don't like it. Okay, I guess you're supposed to do that number, but it looks a little scary. I don't know why I ran that. Anyways, you could just bomb it and get rid of it. And she drops a bomb. As you can see, a lot of resources. And you can start shooting and that builds up the timer because if you let go of the shoot watch, the thing, the countdown on the human gauge goes down on the bottom left. Alright. It looks like that long corridor has ended now. <laughs> Hi, are you too stupid? Hey, she just said we were stupid. Is it because I let a shrine maiden do her things? The morning will come soon. After that, I will turn the full moon to you. My. Aren't you a good listener? My spell is already complete. It's impossible for anyone to take the princess from you. A princess? We had no interest in a princess to begin with. We only want you to return the full moon. Don't worry. When morning comes, I'll give it right back. That's not good enough. We came here to get the moon back before the morning. You're so impatient. But... Look at the place that we're in right now. Do you know where this is? This place is between the false moon and the earth. That endless corridor just now was a false passage that connects to the two. You two were fooled by an illusion that the false full moon produced you came here. And? So what about it? Do you have any method of returning home? I see. Let's take care of that after beating you. We're in no hurry. How could someone who was so perfectly deceived by my spell can... or think they can still oppose me? It's quite strange. Well, I'm no demon myself. So, morning, I'll play with you. I don't quite get it. If we defeat her, it'll resolve everything? See, that's why she called you stupid. But you're exactly <laughs> right. Everything Reimu Hakure says is entirely correct. And now all the things will wander forever, without ever reaching the moon. And the Lunarians are just the same. With this, none of the Lunarians should be able to reach the Earth. This is one of my greatest secret spells. The Earth has become a gigantic sealed chamber. She's just like that rabbit from before. There's so many lunatics in here. So Yukari, let's beat her up quick and head back to the Earth. Oh, looks like you want to play with me then. I'm afraid I like the power to play forever, but... Even so, I can't play until morning. I wouldn't mind playing forever, but some other time. Now, the dawn of Gensokyo is at hand. Yep. Okay. Yep. Here's the editing theme. So, um, there was quite a bit I wanted to go over, but kind of forgot after that dialogue. Uh, basically, we followed editing, so we kind of fell for it. Um, in the final A route, that's why it says follow your eyes because, yeah. Uh, but if you actually follow your intuition, you end up right where you actually want to end up. Um, so that's kind of the whole thing about the ending thing. So you're, uh. you're forced into get the normal ending in your first playthrough. You can't get the good ending until you do a second playthrough. Yep. Good. So, yeah. Editing is based off of... Oh, God. I don't even know what you call it. It's like a big brain, though, or something. That's... I want to say... You, no, it's just a tree in the... Okay, yeah, she's based off the, like... Right there in the background, that's what she's based off. It's like the tree and the moon. I kind of forget. It's like uh, the moon's brain or something. I don't really. I really need to learn the lore. Um, but yeah. Anyways, there you go. Looked a little messy. Okay. And her background's changed, which are really neat. I like. I like when bosses do that. 
Especially in Keiki's in 17. Oh, her fight is so good. That, that looked kind of weird. I didn't know where to go there. At least that route was cut off. Oh god, all the freaking bubbles. Yes, bubbles. Bubbles. Alright, there you go. Uh, there you go. Oi moi kane device. That is what uh, she is based off. I don't think it's a yokai, but that's her... What do you call it? Not folklore, but whatever. That's what she's based off of. Japanese mythology? No, it's the, Japanese isn't mythology, is it? That's like Greek or something? Oh god. I don't uh, know. Wait, what was the question? Japanese Anyways, there's mythology. Neil, guys. Say hi to Neil. He's in the background. Uh, I think this one's called Apollo 13. No, this one is. I think uh, that's my favorite part of editing theme, that build up and then, well, that finale and then this part with the piano. Oh, okay, I don't, I don't know what I was going, oh wow, the bullets don't despawn on this one on Apollo 13. Could have possibly got it if I wasn't blanking out on what to, okay, I don't know. Either. Anyways, her last spell card, Astronomical Entombing. Esoterica. So, what you can do about this one, see how many familiars, you can actually shoot them down with the human, um, like that. It makes it a bit easier. I would. It does take a long time. I mean, if you're good at the game, you don't have to do this probably, but. Okay. But see, if you bomb, it just hits this bottom one. So, your bomb. It, it, she basically has a bomb shield. Um, so, you can just shoot them. I did that on my lunatic once, you see. The first one. Hmm. Um, yeah, so because, as you can see, the orb is going through all the different uh, things and spawning the uh, pills or whatever you want to call them. Pills here. Yep, pills here. I just had to say that since Edin is a doctor after all. Hence, uh, I guess, the uh, medical hat and whatnot. Yep. Oof. Gotta pay attention. She's almost down. Or so you think. <laughs> ah. Um. Yep. We're gonna have another Yuko moment here. What are you doing? Eddie, I grant you one more chance with my power. If you lose this time, you there, human and yokai. The mission made by my power and in Adin's true strength. You'll never forget this as long as you live. And that is the Moon Princess right there. That is Kaguya. Voyage 1970 now, as you can see. The other one was Voyage 1969. And this is Horai Elixir. That is the uh, elixir that can turn you into an immortal. And they, the Lunarians have made it. Or at least Adin did. And this is a survival spell card, so you have to basically survive. How long? For like 99 seconds, I maybe? I didn't look. I've done this a few times. Well, maybe one time, but I practiced. Not now, it's been a while, but... Okay, I gotta go. I don't know if Kaguya has a hitbox. I don't think so, but I'm just gonna... Of course I get hit. Anyways, yeah, it, you get a bunch of points if you do it, but if you mess up, uh, you still get your 1cc or whatnot. Oh yeah, I can't show this off, sorry chat. It's transparently in the game? No. Weird. Yeah, I forgot, I, set, I, I, I changed my setup and that background, I... Yeah. <laughs> And there you have it, uh, once you see on Toho 8. Uh, obviously there's more you can do in the game. That was just okay, Final A it. and just one team. Yep, there's Ann Fang and you. We're in the credits chat next night. Yay. There's the moon, the lunatic moon.
Uh, yeah, no high score. I should change that. Don't need no my space. Huh. Yeah, I think I went the Kage route, maybe. That's why. There you go, 100% on normal, no continues. So I died two times. Uh, nine bombs, 24 caps. Yeah, could do definitely better. Um, but decent run. No replay. There you have it. That was the main game. Let's do the extra stage. Wow, that took 51 minutes. Yay. Yikes. Really? Full moon, extra level. The moon drives people mad. Yes, it does. So, obviously, I unlocked all the teams, and you can do solo EXs. I wonder how that is, but I'm going to do border team because they are really good. Um, bear with me. Oh, yeah, the background's not supposed to look like that. My game, like I said, is a little jank. Uh, just doing an EX stage off the fly, guys, so if I mess up, bear with me. I don't really remember or practice these things beforehand. I just go off of memory and whatever skills I have. Oh, I couldn't grab all that. Yikes. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I got it now. It just, that threw me off when I couldn't go to the top of the screen and grab all that. Oh yeah, let me do the tech. I, I did a little bit. So th this is what you could do. You could just go uh, vertical. Oh. Yep. Or you could do what I did the first round. Okay, yeah. So th these bullets persist even though you take them out. And see, Reimu has uh, immunity. That's why I was able to get through all the, her familiars, the fairies. I like this theme. I like uh, Moko's theme as well. Homing is very nice here. As you can see, I just annihilate them before anything happens to me. So yeah, the extra stage usually always follows up. It's like an epilogue of the story. Got our one up, and as you can see, the next one up is at 666. Ooh, spooky number. And you need 10 uh, time. Don't know why that's even there, but it's funny. Alright, and there you go. There is the moon back to normal. And we are in the bamboo forest of loss. And there is Kaine in her beast form. You've got some guts challenging me on the moon. Are you on the guts in the tower of guts? I won't let you lay a finger on that human. I had to go fast. The dialogue just goes on its own. All you gotta do is stream this. There you go. Ichijo returning bridge. So there's this number you gotta dodge. I like kind of a beast farm. She got that little ribbon on her hair. It's cute. Or her horn, I should say. And she turns green, I guess. Her clothes do or something. I don't know. What's this one? Oh, same thing as the first one, just hopefully I recall what I'm doing. Oh, I couldn't fit. Oh well. Almost had a chat. So, for this extra stage, you definitely want to, uh, what's the word? You want to capture at least seven spell cards. That's how you get to Moko's, uh, extra spell card, the, uh, Imperishable Shooting. It looks very pretty. I've never really practiced or done it. But it is, it is pretty cool to get. But what's nice about this game is you just have to be unlock it one time and you can just go to spell practice mode and just play there so you don't have to replay the whole extra stage just to get to her extra spell or whatever you want. If you want to capture all the spell cards. If you're insane like me and do that, uh, I haven't caught them all. I caught like 80% at least gonna bomb I don't really know what you're supposed to do right there so I got mm, I didn't get my one up just yet all right let's dodge those and there is death fairy as you know she uh, doesn't die oh yeah let me set this up so you can only do this as I say that uh, hold on of course I messed it up on stream I just wasn't ready I guess so you can hang out right here as the border team all right 
I wonder what that was about. It does feel like the fairies are pretty rowdy tonight. The mood tonight is especially strong. It's no wonder that all the creatures are rowdy, really. There she is. So there are even fools who go out on a night like this, huh? Who's that? You, obviously. No. I'm not asking who's a fool. So you're admitting to being a fool, too, then. <laughs> There's Moko. I'm a human who lived here for a long time. I'm not here because I'm a fool. A human? A human, huh? Maybe she owns the forest or something. So, what are you doing here, fools? A trial of guts. And of various other things. What? A trial of guts? Oh, since when have humans been this foolish? You come all the way out here in the dead of the night? I like how Mocha looks at you on that, on that portrait. <laughs> With this lunatic full moon and tons of yokai out? For a trial of guts of all things? It's a miracle that you weren't killed by yokai yet. A trial of guts, seriously. If you die, it'll be your guts the yokai will feast on. She's just babbling. Reimu, any counterattacks? Eh, well, we're just having this trial of guts because Kaguya was saying, Hey, go on out there, so... What was that? Did you say... Kaguya? Um, I did, I? Certainly... I certainly heard a ka, a gu, and a ya. I figured your trial of guts was suspicious. Of course she'd be behind this. I like how she's blushing. I didn't realize she had a portrait. She's pouting, too. Yeah... She goubted the two of you into getting rid of me this time, didn't she? She always, always tries to do away with me. Er... And wasn't she the one who gave me this inconvenient body in the first place? Huh? She's getting all worked up... Worked up on her own? See? If you don't take advantage of this, you'll lose. Hmm. So how about I see for myself just how strong your messengers of Kaguya are? You messengers of Kaguya are. If she sent you, you must be more powerful than her, right? How brave to think that there'd be a human brave enough to confront a yokai like me. I only knew three others like that. And that's a pretty cool reference. Yukari is referencing in Toho 7 when Sakuya, Marissa, and Reimu went to uh, confront her. I'd oh. kind of rather not fight another human, though. What are you saying? You were fine fighting Marissa, weren't you? Don't go thinking I'm some ordinary human. I won't die. I'm completely unable to die thanks to this that lousy Kaguya. Yes, no matter how hard she tries to eliminate me, it won't do her any good at all. She knows that, and she still sends you messengers. This cannot get any more annoying. Look, Reimu, you missed another opportunity. I still don't quite get it. But if she won't die, that means I can go all out on her, right? More or less. Although it looks like the completely unable to die part is just her being full of herself. If you don't go all out, it's game over for your life. There's no turning back now. It's a one-way street in the dead of the night. Oh, good. Just what you wanted. Allow me to test your guts. Reach for the moon. Immortal smoke. Here we go. Fujiwara no moko. Uh, if you didn't understand what the dialogue was, basically, uh, Moko drank the Horai elixir. And that's why she's an immortal. And she's human. And she's lived for a very long time. And her and Kaguya fight about it because, uh, well, they hate each other. So they have a rivalry. And, uh... Yeah. This is EX boss, and I kind of got to pay attention, so sorry, not too much commentary. The knives kind of do that number, and she has, every EX uh, boss has a bomb shield, so bombs don't do anything practically, just they prevent you from dying. As you can see, Mocha blows up like she dies, but she resurrects, as you see resurrection. Got it. Yeah, I think Moko's theme, the best part, is the beginning with the piano. It's very beautiful, and then you get to the rest. It's okay, but yeah, it kind of drops off. Oh, I hate this one. Okay, I don't know what I was thinking there. So, yeah, you kind of, you have to play EX bosses at a very specific, like, you have to. Yeah, not doing hot right now, chat, hold on. I didn't get in position. If once you get out of position, you're pretty much screwed and have to bomb or die. Alright, so you do that number and then you want to run over here. Ooh. And then get over here. 
if you bomb these bullets persist, that's why you just have to play your cards right. And I think I could have got out of that, but yeah, let's just do it. Oh boy, I think I'm a little bit trapped. She's still almost down. There you go. Uh, yeah, that's one of her tougher ones in my opinion. But not as tough as the more to come. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So yeah, Moko is one of the easier EX bosses. And you can see all her cooldowns are just uh, talismans thrown at you. But wait till you see her last cooldown. It is something. Oh, here's this one. This one's, uh, you have to dodge uh, like this. Or that's how I like to do it. Um, yeah, this one, I kind of, eh, a little scary. There you go. Not bad. All right, here we go. Resurrection. Oh, okay. I, I death bombed, so I wasted two bombs. Shouldn't have done that. This one's pretty cool if, uh, once you figure out what you gotta do. Pretty much all the X bosses are pretty cool once you figure out. So. So as you can see, it looks like I'm supposed to get hit, but this is where they stop spawning, or they... Oh I say God. that, and then I get smacked. Okay. So, yeah, you're just avoiding Moko shooting at you, as you can see. Um, I don't know how I got hit there. I thought I was safe. I did not move up at all. Okay. Ooh, wow, that was tight dodging. Yeah, her cooldowns are a bit scary still, I'd say. At least for me, I guess once you figure out what you're supposed to do, it's not so bad. Okay, ah. Which one's this? Honest Man's Death. I kind of hate this one. There's nothing that tells you what to do. And it's a little challenging to handle, in my opinion. I'll let you in on a secret chat. It is uh, Honest Man's Death for sure. Okay! Oh, oh, almost. Okay, so th what this spell card is, basically, you have to be dishonest in order to survive. Um, that's why it's called the Honest Man's Death, because the Honest Man will die. So, basically, oh, well. um... Okay, see, her cooldowns are getting a bit faster, so it's a little scary. Okay, I'm just gonna bomb it, I don't know. Um... The laser spawns. Oh, here's Woo Woo's kind of annoying, but you have to do this number. She will follow you, so you want to misdirect her. Make her spawn in two, and then run over here. As you want as less bullet. Ugh. I'm not performing it how it should be done. Uh, so, yeah, this is how, what you're supposed to do. I think you're supposed to run. I say that, and I run into all the bullets. Okay, see the red one she did early. I gotta go faster. It's been a while since I've done a mocha run. Okay, aha. Uh -huh. I wish I didn't move up. I like uh, Moko. She has, she's the phoenix, so that's why she has the wings and tail and all that. Looks really cool. I don't like this cooldown. You can see it's getting a bit faster. I usually just bomb this stuff. Don't know what you're supposed to do. <laughs> and this is phoenix tail. This one is kind of easy, but you can die. Hitboxes are very deceiving. That's for sure. And I guess it's RNG, you just gotta find the right lanes. Yeah, but this one doesn't compare to Fujiwara Volcano, which you'll see in a moment. That spell card can go die. It is probably the worst spell card in the game. One of them, at least. Oh, here's her last cooldown. Look how fast this is. I don't know what you're supposed to do. I really don't. I don't like it at all. Alright. Um, basically, also, if you're on your last bomb, and you death bomb, okay, here's this one. This one sucks. A lot. I don't know why Zoon thought shrapnels was a good idea in his games, but they are not. I'm not oh, a Jesus. fan of this. I don't know how you do it. I, I use everything just to get past the spell card. Yeah, it's, 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 it's not fun. I'm sure it looks cool once you pull it off, but it requires a uh, technique. Don't ask me what that tech is. Oh, I think I look like I didn't even do Yukari's thing. That was weird. It went straight to Yukari. I don't know. 
Okay, please just go away. Please end it. Shrapnel hit me. Alright. Alright, we're in our timeout last life. Possessed by the Phoenix, so I get the cool Phoenix wings. I always wanted to get this point when I first started. I was like, yo, that Phoenix looks cool. I want I want it. And then here I am. Alright. So uh, Yeah, you wanna dodge the bullets. So basically I think Moko Oh, that looks bad. Okay. Oh, I didn't even really Alright. Oh god, I already messed it up. God chat. It, it, oh This sucks. So you're supposed to do half circles. Or a circle. Well, a messed up looking circle. Ah, okay. Anyways, that was her survival, and then once you get past that, you go to her last one. But if you um, manage to capture seven spell cards, you get to fight Imperishable Shooting, her final one. I want to say, let's just see. Um, yeah, not my best friend for sure. Let's see. Um, so there's last words, and then this is. It doesn't say what it is. Let's see. Oh, okay, these are last wor wait, no, these are last words, these are final I forgot what the term is, but as you can see, I captured 80% of the spell cards uh, with this team, not so much on that team. Uh, it's a lot of work, I captured all the last spells though, I'll show them off, at least one of them. Who's crazy? Cool. Um, I don't know. These ones are, uh, you have to meet certain requirements to unlock them. I don't know what's a good one. There's, they're kind of gimmicky, and some of them are just random. You can see I spent, uh, it took me 300 attempts just to capture this one. <laughs> yeah, that oh one God. was not fun. Uh, this one took me 153 attempts. Uh, yeah, this game will take it out of you. You will, you will, you will break down trying to do all these spell cards. At least you I, will I break do. Down. This game, these games will punish you. Um, what's a good one? I hate to mess up my record to show off when I did, but it's only one attempt, so... Well, that one's kind of basic. I'm trying to think of one... Uh... Hmm... I don't know what's a good one to show off. Yomu, no. Yomu's is easy. Alice is interesting. I got very lucky on... Romilia's, I want to say. Shoot, let's just pick one. Marissa? Marissa. This one looks funny. So you get a, this Eastern Yokai Beauty, uh, that, yep, that, that, yeah. <laughs> As you can see, it says last word on the U, UI now above the title of the game. So, this is it. A every character in the game gets its own last word. And this is what she does. This is uh, Marissa using her Master Spark or oh, Mini Hakero. And she's basically launching herself towards us. So, yeah, she, it's, uh, yeah. At least Zune picked a decent song. You'll listen to this song for hours and maybe days. <laughs> um, maybe but yeah. days. Um, that, that's it. Okay, I didn't have to do that. I forgot I could show off a replay. Let's see. So, what is this? Uh, what sucks about, like I said, I want to show off more, but there's only 15 replays you can save up. Yeah. Anyways, let's see what this is. What is this? Is this a uh, Yukari's? Oh yeah, Yukari, um, for some reason, she has a blue outfit when you fight her for her last word. This is basically Yukari's final in a PCB, in the Phantasm stage. It's just, yeah. Zune did it again with this game. So you have to survive more for 99 seconds. This looks really cool. I just, I really, uh, let's just show this one off. It looks pretty cool. I managed to do it after 52 attempts, not too bad. Yeah. So yeah, you just have to dodge the waves. I know uh, survival spell cards aren't the greatest, but... Oh, there's Ron, by the way. You can see her now, her nine tails and all that. Yep. It isn't too bad right now, but obviously it ramps up a bit. Yeah, this song is nice. But I guess you don't like it after you hear it like a thousand times in a row. <laughs> and there you go. You fit right there. I, I literally, I'm like, you had to sit right next to her, like, her head or something, or, like, right next to her. Yeah, it, it, it. you just find these little spots to, like, hide out in. Yeah, this one looks cool. You just have, yeah. It's, uh, 
Yeah. It, it's crazy what some of these are like. It, what sucks about survival spell cards is like it takes this long just to get to this point and if you die you have to do all this again and you can't speed it up. That is the oh, only God. problem with uh, survival spell cards. But it, once you do it like that it's so pretty and I have to memorize that one spot right there. You have to sit like on her umbrella or her hand. Yep and you sit oh, right there in the middle. And this is the final one. It takes like a long time to build up so... You, oh, oh this one was uh, tricky. Yeah you had to skip that tail end. I always got smacked by it and I hated it. And you just have to sit right there. And here's the finale. It's not too bad, I want to say. You just have to get out of the middle. And especially hearing that timer going down, your heartbeat goes up. But, uh, not here, but other times. Ooh, and there's me dancing because I did it. I was like, yeah. Yeah, they are, uh, insane. Okay. I, I know we're going over time, but I, I just want to show these off. Who is this? Oh, this is uh, Yuiko's uh, survival. Same deal as PCB. Um, 153 attempts. It, it was not fun. Not at all. And she has controller drift here as well. Uh, she forgot to buy a new controller for the new game. You'll see her drift <laughs> off to the side watch. I'm speeding it up right now. I think, am I? Wait, how do you... Oh, you can't speed it up manually. Oh, you can slow it down though. That's cool. See, uh, it's it's smart. Zoom lets you know what you messed up on, so you can uh, make it better for you to improve. Yeah. Oh, you actually shoot her down. Oh, I thought it was a timeout. Okay, never mind. Um, what's another crazy one? Blazing Star. This is the Marissa one. Wait, how do you go fast? Can you not show it off on like max speed? Huh. Unless I'm hitting the wrong key. No, it doesn't look like it. This one was not fun. It took me 134 attempts. 134 attempts. Okay. Yeah, I spent a lot of time on these games. Really, they've been really a painful. You can see that. Yes. Only masochists. Only lunatics. Only non-humans do this. See, it's a ti timeout, right? I wish I was good. And Oh, <laughs> uh, it takes a lot of practice. There's Marissa. Wow, she looks so like <laughs> she went too fast. Um, wow. Let's see. What's this one? Total purification. This is the one that took me like 300 attempts. I don't know why. This one was so easy, but my God, did it. It was so painful just to sit here 300 times. And I was like, what am I doing wrong? Like, it, you just like, you think something's wrong. Like, but it's just, you just have to. I don't know. Oh God. Like I know people who've done this like really fast, and it's just like I I just don't I don't know why it took me so long. Yeah, as you can see, she shoots like a pyramid of those orbs at you. Um, you just have to dodge it. And I played Ron, so I, it was easier even with this team because I had double homing. I can't imagine without. Which one's this one? Fantasy Nature. This is uh, Ramu's uh, last word. Took me 167 attempts. It is basically Fantasy Seal, the one that she does in the main game. This one is kind of tricky. Yeah. So what's interesting about Reimu, um, I mean, there's a lot of mystery behind her, but basically, uh, <laughs> in one of the fighting games, she, uh, you know, I forgot, Randy. I skipped the fighting game. The 7.5. Uh -oh. I just went straight to eight. Oh man, well, that's gonna have to be the next video. There you go. It looks like a mess, and that is how you do it. Anyways, there you have it, chat. That is Toho Eight. Um, would be cool to show off the rest, but I think we have so many games to cover. We'll come back and do hard modes or something, lunatics maybe. <laughs> maybe. Okay. I don't know. Um, yeah. There you have it. You said a big photo says you can't keep. Yeah. Uh, thank you all for watching. Have a good night. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.